it's a six litre block um, out of the cast iron truck engine in America. Um, that then we've gone through and put AFR heads on. on. We've done the custom right. drive system. We've made some more modifications to the intercooler to make it all flow properly. Um, and then we've set it all up in there on this engine. So this is actually going to have quite a bit more intercooler than what the, it's um, essentially yeah. gone. billet or com billet crankshaft and a set of H-beam rods um, and we're putting forge pistons and four bolt mains and all that this car to allow for the quad tips to out each side and down and under there there's also the aluminium fuel tank we put into them Heat and supercharger and then it's and got you see we've done some covers and and catch cans and bits and pieces around there it's running an OTR set up for it all of it's been customed um, to make it all do what it's doing there's an uh, eight-rib drive on the front, Gilmore drive on the rear, um, guard-mounted coils, you know, bits and pieces to make it go better, but also has a pretty good look to it. Um, so that's under the bonnet. Actually, what we can pro probably the top end of a you know of a good drive package. This is actually a seven-liter engine, so it's an engine with a C5R block and ET heads and roller rockers, J pistons, all the bits and pieces you would um, need to put that sort of thing together. We're running the LS7 manifold. Um, these particular rock covers. We've got. Essentially, what it's got, we've taken the standard intake manifold and plenum. Um, we've removed the thing um, and then cut it up taken off the side mount throttle and then put one of reference to it's not an A9X, it's just started off as a normal SL hatchback. Um, fuel system with pumps and things which are both internal and external, fuel pressure regulator, um, basically lots of bits and pieces, big tail shaft, all the paint job is all you know, as good on top as it is underneath, or as good underneath as it is on top. Fuel lines, custom cross members, We've got a big merge pipe in the in the exhaust system, and the custom headers that go in through there, custom cross members, you know, I can say custom all the way through. I'll just let the video do some talking for a minute. It sits in there nice and low, but it's definitely a drop tank. It fills up and gives that back into the car, just that little bit more shape to it.
also trying to shape it as nice as possible to make it flow well, but also as the aesthetic side of things, we want this thing to be a very efficient unit. Here you can see um, we should be able to see it's essentially the 427 um, with essentially the good heads, the ATP heads, there's quite a few nice features inside the engine. Um, but we're just putting a mild tuner at this sort of level. Um, this car has you know, those are custom made headers, it's all custom all the way through. We've also done a bit of making it look a little bit nicer. Um, we've guard mounted the coils, um, put on some customised rocker covers and um, basically done a bit of neat and tight neat and tidying under there with the, the VCM suite covers um, and bits and pieces inside there just to make it all look the part. and bits and pieces. It was a build that we went through and sorted out um, where it had been built and then we it wasn't really doing what it was supposed to do so we pulled it apart, changed pistons and bits and pieces and conrods to get it to work nicely for a street combo. Um, and then we've been gone through and tuned it. It's actually was already on a Wolf computer and we've actually used the Wolf computer. It's actually, it's actually working pretty well. That's a V7 Vortec. It's a 427 engine. I'll attach some previous video of the of this thing running on the dyno um, in its streets form it's making about the 750 horsepower the tyres but with good fuel and opening up the blower a little bit we're running into the 700 sorry